This man can make phones, chargers, radios, and other electric appliances, yet he never even finished his primary education. Born into a humble family, since facing many challenges from an early age, despite the odds stacked against him, he possessed an unwavering determination to change his circumstances and make a difference in the world. He prayed for guidance and wisdom. After four long and tiring years, he finally completed his homemade radio. It may not have been the most sophisticated piece of technology, but it worked. This small triumph ignited a spark within him and inspired him to accomplish even more. But who is this man? How did his decision to drop out of school affect his future prospects? And what motivated him to continue pursuing his dreams despite the lack of formal education and specialized skills? Today, we are in Uganda. We take a long journey heading to this man's house who will tell us more of his inspiring story. Salongo makes different appliances like phone chargers, phones, and radios. But it wasn't always like this. The man never got a chance to formal education, having dropped out of school due to financial reasons. In his early days, he was a street vendor, and that job wasn't really helping a lot as he earned less and still struggled with surviving despite having a job. I then looked for other jobs and would save some money. But 10 years ago, I stopped working for people as I thought of something big that would employ many other unemployed African youths. He still did not have a clear picture of what he wanted to do. So as a believer, he looked to God for answers and took time praying for uncertainty, but also doing some research. I would pray asking God for support, but also asking him why we as Africans aren't good at inventing a lot of technical equipment. I also had this habit of reading books, plenty of them, and through this, God gave me some knowledge. The man gathered some knowledge from different books he read and then started doing a lot of electric and electronic appliances, starting from radios. And the first radio he made took him four years. I would work harder day and night and every day I would learn something new. Sometimes I would even mess it up and start again from scratch. But finally, I made a radio that people can listen to. A lot of people are amazed by this man's skills and the way he can read and understand books, yet he dropped out of school earlier. To him, it's only God who provides knowledge and wisdom to him through the Holy Spirit. Along the way, it took too long to be productive and not generating any kind of money. And no one likes a broke person, starting from friends to even some of his own family members who advised him of doing something else that would help him financially. But he stayed motivated to his plans despite lack of any support. They would always tell me that I spend time doing things that are never complete and will never come to fruition. They wanted me to give up, but I never did as I was focused on achieving many more things in the future. I couldn't just think on the present situations. I could look way beyond the present. He believes anyone can invent something, but we are not willing to do it. He thinks if we were brave enough to give it a try and ask God to help us, the world today would be much better than it is. It would be futuristic as we see in sci-fi movies. I think anyone can invent something. It's just that we don't give it time plus not knowing God's working principle. God gives wisdom and he guides you through it. All I can say is that if you believe in God, everything is possible. 
This man has a big office full of each and every equipment that helps him in his daily inventions. After making a radio and some chargers, his latest one is a phone. As we can all see, it's still yet to be complete as he has some work to do with a few final touches. But the man's dedication and work ethic is really inspiring. I want to see youth employed, for if you make a radio it means many youth will be employed. Same as if you make a factory that makes phone chargers and phones, many youth are likely going to be employed. Now the next is to make a television as he believes that having manufactured all those on his own means that there are a lot more to make and he's not stopping there. He believes that most electronic or electric appliances are made in the same way with just some little adjustments that changes their functions. Though he's a believer in God, he says the Holy Bible or the Quran are just books that were brought to distract us adding that even without reading those books, God would still listen to anyone who prays in his name. Despite aiming high, he says, there is still no support from the local community, yet it's where a big motivation should come from. I wish people would love and appreciate my work. I also need support, and that support would help me in increasing the quality and quantity of what I make and also creating job opportunities to my fellow Africans. The man often faces some critics that he does not make his own things from scratch but rather uses some products and change them. But the man says it's not true as he has always created his own appliances from scratch. I don't use some materials that are already made I rather create my original product. I know it's hard to convince some people, but maybe a visit to my workshop would be enough to prove them wrong. Having no tech background continues to amaze people around him, as most of people who develop such ideas are often from families that did jobs related, hence inspiring them. But for him, it's a different story, which is why he keeps saying that if we take time and think big, we can create a lot and change this world. Having lost his old friends has taught him that at some point, people who don't support you should walk out of your life. And this has created space for those new and useful friends who have now become more than friends, but rather a family. I always welcome people who come to me and I often meet people who are helping me to improve and sharing me with some wisdom, like elder people who always sharpen my mind. As I said, I still need support. With support, I can produce a thousand radios per day. But see, due to no advanced technology, I have only made three, a few phone chargers, and now making a phone. That's why people should invest in me. The story of Salongo teaches us that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit has the power to defy expectations and bring about extraordinary change. It reminds us that with faith, perseverance and a willingness to seek guidance from within, we can overcome any obstacle and create a brighter future for ourselves and those around us. So remember, it doesn't matter where you come from or what challenges you face. With a little bit of faith, a whole lot of perseverance and the drive to make a difference, you can change the world just like Salongo. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afromax English. Remember to subscribe.